Well, the new data are for the largest metropolitan areas in the United States. And uh, what we show is that the sweeping diversity that the census has shown for the whole United States is really super important for these large metropolitan areas. 98% of the growth in the last 10 years in the nation's largest 100 metropolitan areas is from minorities. Uh, and that's huge. It's, much, it's a much bigger factor in these large metros than they are for smaller places, for rural places. And uh, these places really are going to be the laboratories for change and for understanding this change uh, that will disseminate out to the rest of the country. The country, of course, is still majority white. Uh, even the large metropolitan areas are majority white. Fifty-seven percent of the total population of these large metropolitan areas are white. But that's down from 71 percent in 1990 and 64 percent in 2000. Uh, so it's a, it's a rapid change. There are 22 areas uh, that are uh, minority majority or majority minority however you want to say it uh, they're, they're whites are under 50 percent of the population and and that's up from 14 in 2000 among the new ones are new york the entire metropolitan area of new york not just the city but the whole metropolitan area same as the whole metropolitan area of washington dc uh, is uh, majority minority and and uh, you know, I think these are areas that are going to expand. We see on the list very soon it'll be Dallas, very soon it'll be Orlando, Atlanta. Before the next census it'll be Chicago, it'll be Austin. Uh, so, uh, you know, this is, this is a sh the shifting demographics that, that, is, that is affecting a lot, a lot of the country, but it's really taking shape in these large metropolitan areas. Well, I have talked about the cultural generation gap that's emerging in this country from a demographic origin. Uh, this census has shown for the very first time that we have almost got to 50% minority among the births, people under one year of age that are enumerated in the census. In fact, since the day the census was taken, we have probably tipped over that point because it was 49.8% minority. Uh, but that is one part of our country that's going to transform as these young babies get older and become teenagers and get into the workforce, uh, you know, the people around them aren't going to be largely white. Even some of the racial categories we're thinking of right now, when we think of mixed race marriages, when we think of people who want to identify certainly as being Americans, but having origins uh, from other parts of the world. So the generation gap I see playing out in, say, the immigration debate in parts of the country uh, where older people uh, see young folks coming into their school systems, see them on the street, um, are a little bit worried about change in America. I mean, this isn't new. We've seen this in our past history back 100 years ago in the earlier waves of immigration. Uh, but they somehow take it out in their political attitudes about immigration reform and other kinds of social services that may affect younger people who they're not personally uh, have a connection with, but, but they're other people's children, and so they don't see that. But what they ought to be seeing in the future is that these are the young people that are going to make up our labor force. Over the next 10 years, we're actually going to have a decline of whites in our labor force because of the retiring mostly white baby boomers, and they're going to be taken up by these new uh, minorities, Hispanics, Asians, uh, and others. And, uh, you know, older folks have to know that to the extent that their social security is being paid for, that, that their country is becoming productive, uh, it's the education of this younger generation, providing them with uh, good health care, with uh, resources to get good housing, uh, infrastructure of all kinds in our country, but especially that education is going to be important to make our country productive and make it productive for them, older white people in the United States.